How you doing? Thank you. Well, thank you very much for coming out on this Sunday afternoon. You know, we're just a couple of days away from a very important election in Florida. Some of you may not know this, but I am now a Florida voter and a Florida citizen. We live over in the Panhandle. And if I lived in this district, I tell you right now, I'd be voting for Karen Diebel. And I'm here today. I meet a lot of times with people who are running for office. I sit down and I listen to why they're running. I listen to them as to what, why they want to get to that office and what they would plan to do if they get there. When I talked to Karen, I want to tell you what I sensed. First of all, she had all the qualities that I would look for in a candidate. A keen intellect, as sharp as anyone I've spoken to running for office in a long time. She understood the issues and she had depth that it wasn't about just getting elected, it was getting elected to do things that mattered to her as a human being. That she was tired of watching other people get elected saying one thing and then going and doing something differently. And that I sense that here is a person who when elected is going to do exactly what she said. Her sense of integrity, her personal convictions, that which is hardwired into her, that's something that is eternal. So I'm here today um, to ask you to join me in getting this person to Congress because I don't think I have to tell you that we need some folks who have a clear perspective of what's right and what's wrong. People who believe that when you do not solve the economic problems of this country by spending money you don't have and borrowing money you can't afford to pay back. I consider it a privilege to be here with Karen Diebel today. I want to see the joy that you'll have and share with me Tuesday night when the election results come in and the Republican nominee heading on to a victory in November is Karen Diebel. Thank you very much. Yeah.